Hey, how's it going? I want to do this quick video of um, quick release latches and then also I guess just throw in do um, toe straps. This one's the Tanaka. I do have the, I mean, they're both cheapy eBay ones. I mean, this is the good luck or whatever. I just flipped it. This was kind of cheesy. So <clears throat> flipped it around and I don't mind the all black, but I kind of forget I have it sometimes. <laughs> But I mean, it's there, whatever. I do just kind of want to make it pop out a little bit more. So uh, I just ended up going with the Tonka. I just, I didn't want it to stand, want, I didn't want it to stand out, but um, yeah, sometimes this will be like flipped in the back over here and I just won't even notice, but sometimes I forget to have it. But anyways, I wanted to show you guys how I installed this just because that's what my page is about. I'm just showing you how I did it. <clears throat> But I've seen other people do this kind of crazy. And I pulled uh, the bumper off. I like pretty much went over, uh, I guess I was in some yard area and I drove over a mound. The bumper got hooked on it. It pulled it off and up. Um, so it ended up snapping. I mean, they both got popped out, but the quick release bump on this one, I'm not sure if this one broke because it's kind of still holding on. But this one for sure broke. This one just pops. Oh, is it holding on somewhat? Oh no, there it goes. Yeah, so it's not even holding on at all. But uh, I'll show you the setup I got underneath here. And I guess I could show you my fogs. I didn't show the install on those, but those are kind of straightforward and there's plenty of videos on that. But for some reason, people were cutting wet into the bumper like way too much. All right, and as you can see, this is my setup. Um, I have the grill. I mean, this is just a cheapy eBay thing. I think it was like 20 bucks. Got it on a zip ties right here, so it's easy, quick access flip up. Um, there's only a hole in the bottom right here. This is all you really need to do. You don't gotta cut a big chunk out of your bumper in order to get the hole in there. There is a hole right here for access, so. I just don't understand why people cut a big old hole, make it look all ugly. I mean, even if it does make it easier, what's the point? But yeah, you could easily stick a combo wrench in there. And that's pretty much how I did it. Pretty much seen how long I could reach in it, reach it in there. And that's where I put the hole at. And it lined up to, I think like in this area right here. Um, this is, I guess the fog setup, if anyone's interested. It's a clip that goes on the back over here. And I want to say you're supposed to drill some things over here, but just cut out whatever you need to. Pretty straightforward. Don't cut off this tab right here. I think there's some confusion about that. You need that tab to put on the bracket. That's pretty much it. And then you get your fogs installed. Do the wiring and whatnot. Oh, we have the quick release latches right here, and I guess this is also a fix for broken tabs. So, if you have a broken tab, or I guess a saggy bumper, or maybe the other side of the bumper uh, isn't working for some reason, I got the quick release, and this is just a setup on that. It's just a and then for these quick release, all you do is use the existing headlight bolt. So this is the headlight deal right here, the plastic. Use that bolt, put an L bracket, or you could even get a flat bracket. I think all I did was get a flat bracket, drill two holes on each side, and then I trimmed it so there, there wasn't excess. So cut that off. And then all I did was put a slight bend in it to line up right here. And then I just aligned the hole. This is maxed out by the way at the end. So for that bar reaching, that's maxed out. <clears throat> and then same on the other side. At the same deal.
then I guess to this. Oh, it is. It's just a nut. The nut right here. But other than that, I'm gonna put on some new ones. And then put on the new uh, strap. This is what I have right here for the clips. I wanna say this is the same brand I have, so this is another thing you gotta look into, is that these clips, I guess they're pretty shitty, but it also could be either poor installation or you're just being too rough with them because I've had these pop out plenty of times and still work and they've held up for some time now with a lot of abuse. So for the money it is and the abuse I put them through, it's worth it, but people are saying some of them are not. So I haven't tried any of the other ones, only these ones. Well, this is my second pair, but the first one worked out great. So. And we just got the red strap right here. This is uh, it for this right here. And these are gonna be, these were originally black and then it got, I guess, faded off for the sun. So I guess the thing you could do for preparation, I just don't care, I was gonna do it. But the fact that I don't have a garage makes me not wanna do a lot of things. But this is what they look like new. You get your hardware, it's one. This is the second side. Show you guys how easy it is. But also know that these come like this. So this already doesn't look safe. I'll definitely put a washer and a lock washer on it um, just to be safe. All right, and how I even got this, I guess I didn't mention this, but how I measured this was I set that up to a decent point. I didn't want it too close to the edge. And I also measured afterwards what was the closest point to the edge as well with the whole tab on there. So that's just kind of as close as I was comfortable with getting. And it kind of needed a center on this bend as well. So I pretty much just centered it around this. Um, and then you're able to adjust that bar accordingly but did that, drilled a hole, and then step drilled until I was able to fit in one of the quick release tabs. And then from there, smoothed out the edges with a little deeper tool or, you know, use whatever you need to. Okay, I even still got some burr left on it. A quick little, I guess, upgrade that they did. They put a little bite in the washer. I just was going to use some Teflon tape. It's been holding up fine with what I had anyways, with no nothing. But I guess it's nice to put a little bite in there. This Tanaka one, I mean, if we're just doing reviews, a little bit thicker. Yeah. Same size diameter. I have, this one fits perfect. This one's a little loose. I wonder if, probably won't fit. And I'm not in the mood to drill this because it's going to bother me. Oh, you know what? I don't know if I can actually just because uh, the flat blocker is going to fit. It really doesn't fit. Let me see if I can find a lock washer for this bigger setup. And then I have a step drill I know I could use real quick. All right, so I wasn't able to find a lock washer. I do have one, just not on me. It's in my storage unit. Bullshit I gotta deal with. Anyways, I'm gonna do this later. Up, you guys get the idea. Punch it up, get a lock washer that fits. There's a washer on the bottom. Preferably bigger, maybe a slightly bigger. Grab that, put it in there, slide this over it. That's gonna be a little bit more complicated, but. Again, you get the idea. All right, so check for tightening these. 
because you're going to want to take it straight at your last bend is to tighten it at an angle so just a little i guess tip Once it's straight, it's about as good as it's gonna get. It's pretty solid, I ain't going nowhere. And for a drag and a tool and a toe, that's what it's meant for, so. Anyways, that's it for the video. I'm gonna put all this back together and call it a good day. Anyways, thanks for watching.